And the line is, the movements of faith are by virtue of the absurd. The movements of faith are by virtue of the absurd. And uh, that thing just, it just stuck me. And so I remember writing it down, thinking about it. I quoted it in a sermon, probably didn't even know what I, how, how to apply it, but I just liked it so much, I just threw it out there. So I break that down. What does that mean? I think here's what it meant to me is that faith is basically two things. If you, you know, the book, Fear and Trembling. So faith is faithfulness. And that's what it kind of faithfulness, if we're not careful, just settles into religion. People knowing what to do and doing it. But that's, an, that's a very important part of doing the right thing. But the movements of faith, where faith really transitions, where it accomplishes something, where it, where it applies to something and changes the world, is done by virtue of things that seem outrageous and absurd on the face of it. Outside of the norm of just doing the faithful. Yeah, exactly. Being faithful is a very important part of main, its maintenance. And it has to be there, mm. but it doesn't change anything unless somebody steps out of the normal and the natural and the easy and the things that make sense and does something absurd. So the movements of faith are always by virtue of the absurd. So, I mean, I'm just saying that's stuck in my craw. Pastor Warner's talking to me and this idea just comes back to my head. Just like, because I'm thinking, what am I going to do? You know, uh, and at this point, I'm going to go overseas. Um, you know what I mean? I, I don't have any real connection there other than I, the conference and the people, but you know what I mean? It just seemed, it was not in my thoughts. It, you think it wasn't something I was conjuring up. It wasn't something I was angling for. Okay. I wasn't like uh, telling Pastor Jal, hey, if anything ever happens, you know, I'm over here. I, didn't, I never did that. I didn't th even think it would be a reality or even if I did do that, I didn't think that would make a difference. Yeah. But uh, when it came to me, that's how what I thought. I thought, this is the craziest thing I ever heard, but I think God put that in my spirit for a reason. So it was that one line that triggered uh, a sense of like, yeah, why not? Let's do this. It sounds great. So it was kind of like that. And then I called my wife, and after she fainted and got back up off the floor, we, she was able to like, whatever, let's just do it. So she was like, cool. Well, um, she was uh, absolutely tripped out by the idea until... You know when she made her decision? You know when they showed the video at the end of the Thursday night uh, service? Mm. She said, all right. And uh, I went back to Pastor Warner behind the curtain while the video, before the video started, said, yeah, Norma says she's ready to go. To go. <laughs> to go. So uh, the, the thing is, what was so bizarre about that is the whole video was about South London and, and, and Namibia, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember. So it's like, you know, okay, now that you made your decision, here's where you're going to be going. And it was kind of like a, a, a private viewing of, of here's your mission. This if you choose it. to accept it.